Real rotten ruin of all the days. I'm sorry you had to see that, Traveler. Our family drama is a poor welcome to Vashabar. Those two old timber pigs were our fathers. My beloved Clendigal and I simply can't get them to see reason. See reason about what? We want to be married. And our fathers, trees take them, won't hear of it. You just saw the backside of an argument we've had many times. This was the last. Clen and I are going to leave. Start a new life. Can... Can I ask a favor? I have coin. What's the favor? Then why won't your fathers let you wed? They don't see eye to eye on anything. It's like they want to grind each other into bone meal. Long story. If you're inclined, find my Agawen Cyril and tell her we're leaving. We need supplies and she might be willing to help us. I can do that. I'll find Agawen Cyril and let her know of your plans. Cyril's my aunt. She owns the beer garden at the center of town. You can't miss her. Ifray the singer himself must have sent you. Thank you, traveler. This village is called Vashabar, you said? Can you tell me more about it? It's our newly grown home. We're a clan of wood elves, originally from Valenwood. We follow the Green Pact, but a number of us support the Dawnway as well. We crossed the River Strid when the forest of Valenwood extended into West Weald. You said Valenwood crossed the river? Depends who you ask. Some believe the Green grew the forest and led us here to establish Vashabar. Those who follow the Dawnway see it as a sign we were meant to reclaim the land of our ancestors. Provided you believe we're descended from aliens. You said your families hate each other? I'm slightly exaggerating. But while the language of my people is expressive and beautiful, we have no word for fundamentally disagree with to the point of violence. What do they disagree on? My father's a green speaker and devout follower of the Green Pact. Clendigal's father is an important envoy for King Nantharian's Dawnway. If they weren't so worried about appearances, they'd have punched each other in the bits by now. They don't approve of your marriage because of their views. They hated our match long before we crossed the River Strid and Vashabar was grown. But the last few months have been tense to the point of breaking. We tried one last blighted time to convince them, as you saw. And failed spectacularly, damn it. Let's try and sort this out for them. The voice of the village. I met two young wood elves near Vashmar, Haleni and Klendigal. They want to marry, but their fathers are unwilling to give permission. They asked for my help to leave town and start a new life. Laney asked me to speak to her aunt, Cyril. Cyril might be willing to help the couple start a new life away from Vashabar. I should be able to find her at the beer garden in the village. Where is this beer garden? Must have been there before. I go in? Oh yeah, I was too. That's where I read the book. Just drinking rot meth. Welcome, traveller. This is the Vashabar Garden of Ale. I'm the owner and host, Cyril. Did I hear Ray's voices just now? Was that Laney and her father? Uh, you heard right. Laney and Clendigal are fed up. They want to leave, start a new life. Green preserve me. My brother Nidalee are an old mint for the problem here, sure enough. They've never seen eye to eye. But since Vashabar grew, their views have petrified like ancient bark. Neither will bend, but it's the lovelies who suffer. The couple wants to gather supplies for their travel. Will you help them? Ah, easy enough. I, I'll do it. But look, Laney and Clendigal deserve love and their village both. Can you go talk to those old goats? Tell them their children plan to leave. Maybe that will make them finally see reason. Laney seems sure they wouldn't change their minds. Hmm. How can you... Ah, I have just the thing. Take these. I brewed up a few casks of Jaga earlier this week. Offer them a drink, and maybe they'll be more inclined to listen. I'll be over by the stables when you're done. I'll give them the Jaga and see what they have to say. 
I'll see you at the stables. Those old mammoths should be in pod houses around the village. And don't worry if they get cranky. They're more bark than branch, if you take my meaning. Was there something else you wanted to talk about? Can I ask you a few questions? Of course. You're kind to involve yourself in affairs of the heart like this. Family, tradition, belief. And my brother. What a mess. What's in this jug you gave me? Pig's milk, primarily. It's my own recipe, so there's a bit of this and a bit of that in there for flavour and body. If you like that, you should taste my rot meth. I've been brewing a batch for Lainey's wedding ceremony since she was a baby. Jeez, okay. I'll probably, I'll probably pass. I'll probably pass. Oh, what the hell, I'll have a, I'll have a drink. For the fire, for the celebration. If I'm, uh, if I'm invited. Green speaker, Ned O'Lear. Ifrey's knees, a stranger. Welcome, what can this old green speaker do for you? Before we get down to business, how about we share a mug of Jaga? It's Cyril's best. My sister sent you. Yeah, <laughs> with Jaga, no less, eh? Well, what's my sister up to this time? Eh, uh, well, I'll drink with you, stranger, and I'll hear what you have to say. Cyril does make some mighty fine jaga. I came to tell you that Lainey's plans to leave the village so she and Clendigo can wed. Rabbit dung! Lainey will be our next green speaker. Has she never abandoned her duty to the green? Damn mint and his dawn white spawn! Are there weeds in our garden? I won't allow this marriage. I'll make that clear to Lainey. As soon as I finish this jaga. Well, you enjoy the rest of your jaga. Thank you for talking to me. It's gonna fall backwards. Oh, you can handle it. You can handle it, Jaga. Alright, and the other father. Oh, hey, you're still here. I suppose I ought to thank you. Okay. <laughs> Yes, you should. Snaky, snaky. Minth. Ah, a visitor to our fair village. Perhaps you'd like to hear about the Dawnway, the new path forward for Bosma and Vashabar. I can tell you all about it. Before we get down to business, how about we share a mug of Jaga? It's Cyril's best. Jaga? From Cyril? For me? What's this all about, stranger? I came to tell you that Clendigo plans to leave the village so he and Lainey can wed. Ridiculous. Clendigo belongs here. I want him to see the world from the top of the canopy, not the bottom of the forest floor. To see the world as our King Nantharian sees it. Our King plans for the future, for our people, for Vashabar. He can't marry Eleni and support the village at the same time? No, he can't marry the daughter of a green speaker. The outdated customs of the Green Pact have held my people back for far too long. I understand what you and Cyril tried to do here, but my mind is made up. Now excuse me, I need to find my son. Enjoy the rest of your jaga. Thank you for talking to me. Here, little friend, I won't hurt you. We'll Who? Have so much fun together. I just have to catch you first. I'll get you something tasty. What do prairie dogs eat again? Meat? And then jump. She's gonna get it? This phrase beard. How does her noble make it look so easy? Close, very close. Try and net or something. There you are. I've got a good start on gathering supplies for Lainey and Clendigol. How was your chat with the old goats? I gave the fathers the jargon and told them about the marriage. They didn't change their minds. 
those two could give lessons in cussedness to a timber mammoth. And now they'll be looking for the loving couple. Damn. My niece can't leave. If only... Hmm. If their fathers won't budge, can we convince Lainey and Clendergold to stay? Why would they stay if they can't get married? I know those two. They'd never be happy as outcasts. If they stay, there's always a chance we can sort this out. I still need to work on these supplies. Would you be willing to talk to some friends of the families? Get them to encourage patience? I can do that. Who should I speak to? Hmm. Gundelion. He's Lainey's grow-father. Helped her walk for the first time. Ah, a Melaniel. Clendigal's tutor with a blade. Both of them should be nearby. Thank you, Traveller. There's a stiff brew with your name on it once we get this sorted. All right. I'll see if Gundalon, Gundal Gundalion, and Melaniel would be willing to help you, then you know who they are. Let's find them. Oh, watch where you swing that blade, pal. Above. What? Above, but not this side. The neighbor. All right, here we go. Another student, perhaps? Possibly. Babler, are you looking to practice the blade? In the mood for a sparring match? Cyril asked me to speak with you. Glendigal and Laney are going to leave town. Glendigal? Leave? But the village is freshly grown. And it feels like just yesterday I was helping him choose a training blade. I know how much he loves that young woman. If they think they have to leave town to be married, well... Cyril hoped you might convince the couple to stay. Nope. I'm sorry. They want to go. I respect their decision. But I'll go find Cyril. Hopefully I can see the couple before they depart the village. <laughs> I'll kick Clen in the arse if he tries to leave without saying goodbye. Alright. I'll see you later then. I have so much respect for Min. It kills me to think he won't listen to his own son. And when everything we work for is so close at hand. What are you doing, Vashabar? I'm an accomplished blade dancer, and work with Minth as an envoy of the Dawnway. Before we left Valenwood, I taught everyone who asked the way of the sword. Wish I'd had a chance to do more. Blade dancer? Bit of a pompous term for someone that's good at fighting with a sword, innit? I heard it from a high elf in mixed training at a Dominion base. I kinda liked it, so I made it my own. You're committed to the Dawnway, then? With my whole heart. I saw more than enough during my time with the Dominion military to know we need a better tomorrow. A glimmering dawn on the horizon. Oh, sorry. Just stepped into your bedroom, didn't I? Uh, find Gundaleon. Gun Gundaleon. Gundaleon. Ah, a visitor on a mission. Like a ringtail after a beetle. <laughs> sure. A new face in Vashabar, beautiful like the pelt of a sench tiger cub, fresh from the den and curious about the world. Cyril asked me to speak with you. Lady and Clendergal are going to leave the village. No! What? No! All of a sudden I'm back, holding Lainey's hand as she takes a shaky step like a fawn in a glade. Oh, my heart. This is because of their fathers, isn't it? Nedalia, you foolish old man. Cyril was hoping you might ask the couple to stay. I can't. I teach the children if they want to leave, they should. It would be wrong to say different to Lainey. But, hmm. You should speak to Spinner Bell Wellis. He's the keeper of the Wilder Hall here in the village. How could Spinner Bell Wellis help? I'm not sure. It's just an idea. Maybe a nudge from the singer himself. 
The Wilder Hall holds the ancient knowledge of our clan. Perhaps there's something in there that will set Laney and Clendergall free, like a flock of pollen bats in the night. I'll go speak with Spinon Belwalis then. I'm trying to keep the hope alive in my heart, Traveler. Like a Grotwood fisher cub in a pen, I'm feeding it the fish of my soul. What do you do here in Vashabar? Oh, thank you for asking. I'm a part of the Valenwood Faithful, an aide to the Greenspeakers, advisor to Spinners, and tutor for the village children. Would you like to hear my favorite thing about the Green Pact? I suppose. What's your favorite thing about the Green Pact? People in distant lands like to focus on our eating habits, or what we think about fallen trees. The truth is, the Green Pact is a way of inviting the forest into our lives, into our hearts. And that just makes me so happy. This little squirrel seems to be happy. All right, let's go, Baz. Ah, the outsider. How goes your quest? I've seen you running to and fro, traveler. On a quest to help our young couple, I believe. How goes the journey? Not well. Lady and Clendergall are going to leave the village so they can wed. Nedolir will not bend. Minth will not sway. They revere our culture, but learn nothing from the trees. If the couple chooses to leave, I will not speak against them. Every living being must be allowed to grow as it wills. So says Ifri, so say I. One of the villagers mentioned a place called the Wilder Hall? It is a repository of knowledge from Valenwood, a connection to the deep history of our people. I hoped the singer might send you my way. I believe a text from the hall may offer a solution. Seek out a scroll called the Rite of Propagation. What does the Rite do? It allows a Bosma community to determine its future, to step in where growth has stagnated. If Laney and Clendegal perform the rite, Vashabar can make its voice known. And not even Nedalir or Minth can silence the voice of the village. I'll look for the rite in the Wilder Hall. The Wilder Hall is just east of here. The rite may be just what Laney and Clendegal need, what Vashabar needs. I suggest you take it over to Cyril when you find the text. She'll be instrumental in enacting the rite. Right. Right. <laughs> Vashabar card looking for something. Into the Wilder Hall we go. The Green Lady's Primer for Children. Listen now, fair children, for to the song story I tell. I am the Green Lady, her Vernon Highness, do not look away, I know I am fearsome to behold. They call me the Vengeance of the Woods, for good reason. Green is my name and green is my creed, as like all good children of Valenwood, I am a friend of the forest. What is the Green Pact? It is a promise, nothing more and nothing less. It is a gift that the Green gives freely, in exchange for our protection and our love. In Valenwood, our one true home, the ancient world still stands as it did the day that Ifrey, beloved singer, took the ooze and spun the trees and the elves and the beasts into story and song. Let us go now through the different aspects of the pact, what it means, how you can follow it, and why it is important. Remember always your venerations. In the storyteller's name, I stand upon the bones of the world, I drink in the promise, and the power of nature's law, and breathe out my thanks. Note to King Nantharion. Nantharion, what in the green are you up to? I'm livid. I'm sitting here reading your damned manifesto and hearing reports of all this growth and movement. Are you trying to start another war, boy? Are you trying to get us exiled from the pact? I've got a stack of letters here from the Queen, from Pact Ambassadors, from Covenant Ambassadors, three from Count Calantius alone. 
I want you or a representative here in Elden Root yesterday. Do you hear me? The governors and magistrates that make up the Thalmor are demanding answers, and I can't keep stalling. Your family and I go way back, son. You know as well as I do that we're always on a thin branch with these people. Please don't make my job any harder than it already is. You're a loyal subject of Valenwood. I know it. I expect to hear from you soon. King Camoran Eradun, Elden Root. Vashabon Valenwood and beyond. Okay, it's only two pages. By Melbora, Wilder Hall Scholar. I've organized these notes as you requested, Spinner. The history of our clan goes back long enough to fill volumes. I've tried to keep things simple as I can. While the village of Vashabar was founded only a few short months ago, many of the families in our clan can trace their lineage to after the fall of the Aelian Empire. But before the Alessian Empire's dissolution, it is somewhat amazing that these family, same families stayed together when they migrated to Valenwood so long ago. Though we have always been a small community, you can see the tracks of history wending their way through our bloodlines. A number of our most important early community members were part of the Hardland Elf Diaspora. Though many of these former conquerors adopted the teachings of the Green Pact, our tradition of green speaking perfecting the techniques of shaping the forest stem from early in the Second Era. One of our own, an ancestor of Nedalia, developed techniques that would lead eventually to the cultivation of seed pod houses across Valenwood. The tradition of dawn walking that would eventually lead to the Dawnway movement is a more recent development, though it has its roots in our Iliad ancestors. When King Nantharion adapted the movement and began bringing our community into a clearer focus, we were more than ready to make the move when the green showed us a way to return to the roots across the Strid. The new forest seemed like it was grown specifically for us, that we could reclaim the heritage of our alien ancestors. You know the rest. We packed up and followed King Nantharion to this sacred spot, and the green speakers got to work. It wasn't long before the first tendrils of Ashavar were grown. Mabora? Traveller. Hmm. It's been some time since we've had a new leaf blow into the Wilder Hall. Can you help me? I'm looking for a scroll called the Rite of Propagation. Most assuredly. Hmm. Rite of Propagation. That would be in the far back corner, with our oldest documents. You're welcome to take it. Just please be careful. That scroll may be one of only a handful left in the world. Well, that's that's a lot of trust. Especially in these large hands. The Rite of Propagation. Right of propagation, stagnation stands against the green. Ifray teaches us that growth must be allowed, lest the forest choke itself on its very roots. If that is so the case, enact the right of propagation and unburden then a village of that which holds it back. To enact this right, find a symbol of you to the village, an object that means you to the community. Stand together as supplicants before the village, ask the community what it wills, if it stands at your side or if it does not. If the community stands with you, your life's growth is in the hands of the village. If not, the matter which you brought before the village will not stand. In either case, respect the will of the village, for the village is the forest, and the forest is the green. I believe this will do. Talk to Agawen. Alright, let's quest update. Uh, I found an old scroll detailing the right of propagation in the world of Hall. The right may offer the couple a way to appeal to the village for permission to marry. Spinner Bellwellis suggests that I talk to Iagawa and Cyril before taking, before talking to Lainey and Clendergal. Sing a 
Honor be praised, you're back. What did they say? Lady and Glendegal may not have to leave after all. Take a look at this. A look at... a right? Ah, oh, don't. Ah, oh, Ifra's ass. This is amazing. Where did you dig up this relic? It was Spinner Bell Wellis, wasn't it? Canny old goat. Ha! What a find. Nice work, traveller. One of the villagers mentioned I should speak to him, and Spinner Bell Wellis came through. I never even thought to ask him. Brilliant. Go tell the loving couple. In the meantime, I'll gather mint and Nedalia, as many others as I can. If Laney and Clendigal are going to ask the village to decide, we need the whole village to be present. Where are Laney and Clendigal? With the fathers hunting for them, I told Laney and Clend to hide out. They have a little love nest in an overgrown ruin on the southern edge of town. I bet they're there. Tell them what you've found. Vashabar will be waiting when you return. I will. See you soon. They best be there. And alive. Damn it. Fine. Then we make for Varen's wall. Right. From there we head for Anvil. But it's Oh! Traveller. Hello. Hello there. I see Cyril found you. This is a happy place for us, Traveller. I hope you've come with news to match. Actually, I think I have. Take a look at this. An old scroll. Huh. I've never heard of this before. The Rite of Propagation. We gather some symbols, present them to friends and family, and ask the village what it thinks we should do. Traveller, with this we might not have to leave. It was Spinner Bell Wallace's idea. Cyril was already gathering the villagers. The Spinner? I didn't even know he liked me. Thank you. You have no idea what this means to us. We've been on a blade's edge since we spoke. We've already asked you for so much. If you're willing, do you have time to help us gather our symbols? Sure. What are you thinking? The Dawnway means so much to me and my family. It draws from alien culture, and there are several alien ruins nearby. A mosaic from the ancient empire of the Heartland Elves would perfectly represent me to the village. What about a symbol for Laney? She's been mouthing words at me over your shoulder. Meet her where we began the ceremony to grow Vashabar. She thinks a dormant seed pod will represent her quite well. I'll mark your map, and we'll see you beyond the village. Laney, we get to stay! I'll see you two outside of the village, then. <laughs> I can't rot and believe it! Can you rotting believe it, Clen? Ha! Uh, the sooner we get those symbols, the faster we can start planning the wedding. <laughs> I was waiting for that. I was waiting for them to stare me down. Oh, the sooner we get this sorted out, the, the faster we can get married. Are you still here? Okay. Yes. Are we going to race? No! We're not racing, but I am. I'm gonna show up. Traveler, be careful. Bugs are plenty here. They're drawn to remnants of the ritual, and they're likely to be territorial. Remnants of the ritual? Damn wasps. Does it stop? I'll be hearing that rotting buzzing for days. A wasp queen? Thank the singer, that's over. Lady, this is what you want? A dormant seed pod from the Vashbar ritual site, the personal offering from Laney to a village. Got it. Let's get out of here. Right, and then Let's the Aeliad. The Aeliad item. Which is apparently nearby.
Ooh, just fit. I'm here, friend. If you're ready, let's head inside. Let's do this. Uh, Death Hoppers. The wildlife down here might see us as a threat. <laughs> you reckon? But then again, I did charge first. We were well within reason to do that. I'm a bit of a death hopper myself. The Heartland Elves never did anything halfway, did they? Close by, very close by. Troll! That's a big troll! That's a troll! Did you just hit my Barry? Nasty troll! Alien mosaic. Part of an alien mosaic from the ruin beneath Vashabar. A personal offering from Glendigal to his village. That's it, traveler. An alien mosaic that represents me perfectly. Let us skedaddle on out of here then. Someday we'll have to explore this ruin more completely. Not today, though. I wonder if you can actually go through this in oblivion. We're dangerous, huh? No, no, no. you're dangerous, Ember. You are a lethal weapon. I'm just here for the ride. I'll meet you back in Vashavar to perform the rite and face my father. Let's do this. Bar, Laney and Clendigal have returned. Let them be heard. Cyril, what's the meaning of this? Someone explain to me what's going on. Think they're tough, but this one can outdrink them all. <laughs> Who said that? What's that got to do with anything? You again. My sister's co-conspirator well, spit it out. Tell me what's going on here. The right of propagation? Lady and Clendigal are going to ask the village to sanction their marriage. A right of propagation? Did you put them up to this? There hasn't been a right like this enacted since I was a child back in Valenwood. What does my daughter hope to accomplish with this archaic right? You said you wanted Lady and Clendigal to remain in Vashabar. This can make that happen. Outrageous. I'll... 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 Drink my jogger. I'll stand here, I suppose. Neither myth nor I can stand in the way of tradition. 
even if I don't like it. Good to hear. Vashabar, we need your help. Laney and I want to marry. As you all know, our fathers refuse to support us. And so, we invoke the right of propagation, an ancient Bosma custom. We gathered these symbols, representations of our roles in the village. An alien mosaic for me. And a green spring seed for me. Friend, you helped us find them. Please bring them forth. If I get stuck on this rock. Slightly embarrassing. It's alright, I'll take the little step over here. I'll work it out. These symbols represent our commitment to the village and to each other. Our future lies in whatever you decide. Do we have your support? Well, what do you say, Vashabar? Do you support this union? Aye! Aye. Aye. Ha! There it is! Congratulations, you two. Let's give the couple a moment. Drinks for everyone. All right, you old ass. The village is spoken, so let's make the best of this. I suppose you're right, you bastard. <laughs> if we're gonna be kin, let's get to drinking like it. I'm challenged by this step, sorry. Lady? This hardly feels real. They rotting stand with us. Oh, singer be praised. Did that go as you had hoped? I don't know whether to dance or cry. I think I'll do both, after Clen and I have a few of Cyril's potent drinks. I've been tense about this for so long. I almost forgot what it feels like to let go. So when do you think you'll get married? Let's get through this party first and let the village sober up. A few days, I expect. At most. That will give our fathers time to become comfortable with the idea. And I can work with Cyril to arrange the handfast ceremony. Good luck with the wedding, Lainey. I can't thank you enough. You and the singer helped us make our dream come true. Without you, who knows where Clen and I would have ended up. I'll pray for you, Traveler. Ifrae keep and protect you for all the rest of your days. Oh, they're already best chums. Best buddies, Clendigal. I can't tell you the last time I've seen Lainey smile like that. Thank you, Traveler. You've changed our lives. You're welcome. Clen, we better get a drink. Otherwise the Rochmeth will be gone and we'll have to carry our father's home. That might be too late for that already. Alright, let's have a chat to everybody before we leave. Minth. I'm going to look at this the way I think our ancestors might have. What seems today like the end of a tale might in fact be the start of a new one. The start of a new story? I don't know. I'm still trying to adjust. But our ancient ancestors faced adversity and still made it to Valenwood. Escaped an old life to start a new one. Perhaps that's what happened here today. And I do like Laney. That's good to hear. Great <laughs> speaker. I'll just stand on the side of you, pal. Well, Willis, he's always tried to teach us to you know, listen. When a singer tells a tale, eh, perhaps this situation will be good for the village. How will this be good for the village? Since before we crossed the street to settle Vashabar, there's been a, a tension in the clan. In the ways of the ancients, in conflict with our devotion to the grain, and now maybe we can eh, put all that behind us. You're talking about the differences between the Green Pact and the Dawnway? Yes, just so. Yeah, perhaps, perhaps, my daughter's union with Clendical might uh, build a bridge across that divide. And, and you know, deep down, our two beliefs aren't all that different. Not really. 
I go in. To think this all started with shouting and a traveller walking in from the wilds. Ha! Just look at what you've done for this village. You did a great deal for the couple as well. Ha! Do you know how long I've been trying to smack some sense into my brother? Or old Minth? I don't think about the singer much. But I might go listen to Belle Wellis preach. Just because you came walking down the road. For years, I've devoted myself to the keeping of sacred texts. To think those texts would live on through the actions of our children. Hmm. I hope that we actually gave that back to her, because... <laughs> there was a lot of handling of that text. Respect and deep thanks, Trava. Laney and Clendigal shall remain in Vashabar, and it's all because of you. May Ifrit guard and keep you in your journey. I can't wait for the wedding. You think the village is gonna get raw faced tonight? Just wait until after the ceremony. <laughs> Don keep you, traveler. Well done. I can't contain my joy, stranger. Laney will stay here in Vashabar, a proud and vibrant sapling growing amid the grove of her elders. The will of the singer sung through you. <laughs> All right, how nice. Everything worked out. Uh, and <laughs> I saw you in the back getting wasted. Almost falling over. All right, so now we've done good deeds. We can finally leave this area. And I can make my way over here to continue on to that final part of the Paths of Chaos. So let's do that before anybody else is in dire need of help. 